Hello and welcome back to another popcorn chat. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to be speaking to you about a potential Oscar nominated film, The Holdovers. I've never seen any of Alexander Payne's previous films, but after seeing this, I think he's a director that I could really like. Paul Giamatti's character, Mr. Hunnam, must look after a handful of students over the Christmas break at a boys' boarding school, and through this process, they learn a lot about themselves and each other. I know it's been said multiple times before, but Dominic Sessa, who plays Angus in the film, is insanely good. To say he's never acted before is just wild. His performance, his comedic timing, everything is suited to this film and I can't wait to see what he does next. This is very much my kind of film. It has that slice of life feel to it asking those bigger questions when you don't know what to do with your life, especially when you're still at school. I was smiling a lot throughout this film. It was very funny, but there were also these emotional moments, especially through the narratives with characters such as Mary Lamb and her plotline about her son. That kind of cut through a lot of the comedy in this, but it suited it really well and balanced that kind of approach of life and the kind of you know, hints of dark comedy. Um, so yeah, you're going to laugh and you're going to cry. What I appreciated for a film that was set in the 70s is the fact that it genuinely looked like it was filmed from the 70s. From the aspect ratio to the opening titles and even the students' hair, this is how you do a reflective 70s timepiece. I really appreciated the soundtrack. There's lots of early 70s hits on there that I think will really get you into the atmosphere of this film. I personally love a film where a teacher's methods change the way in which their students view the world such as Dead Poet Society or School of Rock, where the students learn from experiences rather than the curriculums and the books that the school is trying to force upon them. It's much more about learning who you are and who you want to be. I just can't wait to watch this film in the build-up to Christmas later this year. So I'm going to give The Holdovers four and a half stars out of five. Thank you so much for watching this review of The Holdovers. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts of the film down below in the comments and I'll see you very soon for another popcorn chat.